Episode 6 of Ahsoka was huge, and that is in no way an exaggeration, as it finally gave us our live-action Thrawn, and a lot of other cool moments too. Let's quickly run through the major ones. The episode opens with Ahsoka's sole appearance in the episode, as she and Hu Yang continue on their journey to find Balin Skull and Morgan Elsbeth, who have taken Sabine and absconded into the galaxy. This scene also gives Hu Yang the chance to say a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, which was just fantastic to hear someone finally say in the franchise. Speaking of Sabine, she spends the entire episode hanging out with the bad guys, which is going about as well as you'd expect for her. They arrive at Paradia, hang out with some Night Sisters for a bit, then the big moment comes as Thrawn finally enters the series proper. The Chiss Admiral is less than thrilled about the arrival of Sabine, but as the master tactician that he is, he sees a window of opportunity. So Thrawn concocts a plan that will see Sabine freed from confinement, given aid and information on Ezra's last known whereabouts, and sent on her way. And afterwards, he sent Balin after her to ensure that once Sabine and Ezra reunite, they'd be both killed, which is genius stuff. Two birds with one stone, as it were. Blissfully unaware of the trap that she's gotten herself into, Sabine takes up Thrawn's offer and sets out to locate Ezra, which she manages to do by the episode's end. Just check out that rockin' beard. The final moments see Thrawn musing about what's to come in the near future, including arousing some suspicion about where Balin's loyalties lie. Thrawn also makes a cryptic request for more of the Night Sisters' magic. Where is all this leading? It's hard to really tell, but I guess we'll just have to wait for the next episode to find out.